Like, you can just get all of this representation. You can have all these characters in the game without overcrowding the roster. You know? The only thing I say, the only reason... They have the same moves, they have everything, because they all have the same friggin' sword, so why not put them all in the game in the same spot? I'm with you, buddy. You know? They I'm just have... saying, it's a, it's a tight, it's a dangerous it slope a, to it play. It is a slippery slope. Because it's not like you're just changing the but color. Like with... You're actually changing the character at that no, point. No, you're not. You're not uh, you're not changing the way they play. You're no, changing the what I'm saying is is that instead of being Marth Dude, they do it you, already. You become you become Darth. They do it. <laughs> you know, it's you're right. it's, it's it's the same Darth move from Fire Emblem Negative 2. <laughs> from Fire Emblem <laughs> Return of the Hope. I remember. That. <laughs> Return Fire of Emblem the New Empire Hope. Hope. <laughs> I'm just saying you, it's just a weird it's just you don't you don't it's just it's a slippery slope. And I'm also thinking like combine Mario and Doctor Mario. Stop it. You know, like Stop don't they, is that not, are they already separate characters? They are separate characters. Yeah, that's true because they literally have the same moveset except you exactly. know, one shoots combine pills, one shoots Falco fireballs. and Fox. Yeah. You know, take the best parts of Falco, take the best no, parts of Fox, different. put it into one character and combine them. You don't need the separate spots. Or just different. have five hundred characters. I don't understand Who cares? why you can't just have unlimited amount of characters. I guess I you mean know, this is a, a multi million dollar game, it's got, you know, a gigantic budget. I say have, like, a hundred characters. Every character that's ever been in a Super Smash Brothers game, you put yeah, in there. Yeah, that's true. Have Toad in there who's mm-hmm. never been in there. Have, Toad you know, would be a better assist trophy. I want yeah. Toad. I want Toad. Captain Toad you can have. You can, uh... Battle Toad. What would Captain Toad do? He would discover stuff. I just got a curse. <laughs> I want... Ba- I want Battle Toad. <laughs> Battle Toad? I wouldn't mind the Battle Toads. I want... Bless you. I want Earthworm Jim. <laughs> Earthworm Jim. Jim. I want uh um, Toe Jam and Earl. Joe, did I just see a gigantic thing of snot <laughs> just fall out of Joe's <laughs> Joe has oh, the man. uh have you ever seen the original Ghostbusters? Yeah. Oh uh, no! You ever play Wind slimed. Waker? You ever been? You ever play Wind Waker? Oh, yes. no He's the little kid building. with the giant nose drip. Oh my god! I'm gonna get this guy a tissue. Uh, I'm gonna get a tissue. You keep talking about your character. <laughs> you both just go to get a <laughs> tissue. I'm just sitting here. That like, was disgusting. Oh Jesus! It's all over. It's his the shirt. scene where Bill Murray uh, gets <laughs> slimed. Oh, that's what Joe looks like right now. He just slimed himself. Yeah. It's disgusting. Oh, that's um, all that's right. Delicious. Now that that fool is wow, it's the OG nerd vibe. Yeah. So I would. We're the Nintendo guys. What do you want to see in, uh, Nintendo do with their uh, press conference? What you know games do you want to see announced? I would love to see another Star Fox game because you know me and Star Fox. I yeah. love it. And now you can finally admit the last one stunk. Yeah, you know, okay. It you was, loved it at first. I did love it at first. Here's the one thing that would have pushed it literally from terrible to amazing. Mm-hmm. If they took, if they gave you the option to use the Wii Pro controller. Yeah. If they gave you that option, that game would have been spectacular. And I think with this, you know... The gameplay experience was so good. The yeah. the visuals were beautiful. Just using that pad yeah, was not good. Using the pad to shoot was so stupid. Agreed. That game could have been so amazing. There were so many beautiful callbacks. So many returning characters in that game. And some new ones that were really cool. I just hated the way it played. Yeah, I think, you know, maybe they'll learn from their mistakes and come back and make a good one. I'd like to see... Uh, I know you were hyping up the Metroid games. Yeah, Metroid uh, would be great. Maybe, maybe a re- Metroid 4, Metroid Prime 4. I would be interested in that. I think that would be I'd really, like to give it really a shot. cool. They came out with a Metroid game for the 3DS, and it sold pretty well. Uh-huh. So they said if it sold well, if Metroid on the 3DS sold well, they would make something for the Switch, which was I think is really cool. So what I want to see from Nintendo is I want to see a new Star Fox. I want to see a new Metroid. You know what would be really interesting to see? What is that? A new Earthbound. We haven't had yes. Earthbound since the 90s. No. So I think that would be really interesting. And people are really of, into that stuff yeah, these days. There is a, a huge following for the Earthbound franchise. I think that would be really cool. Uh, let's I want Battletoads on the Switch. Yes, that would be cool. What? Like an original port of Battletoads. No, would I want really Battletoads cool. and Battletoads TM. Or I would say, name the new one. I'd say I want a Donkey Kong game for the Switch, but technically we already got one. Yeah, but that's literally just a yeah, remake. It's or, a port. Or, it's a port I of want the a new Wii Donkey U Kong one. game. I want a new Donkey Kong 64 kind. Of game. I do. I again, you know, we're talking franchises that 
don't transfer too well to 3D from you know side scrolling to 3D. You didn't like I 64. Was, I was never really into it. I know a lot of people really like it. Uh, if I was okay. going to play a rare game, I would play uh, Banjo Kazooie. Yes, that was cool. You know what? Uh, all right. So you know what? I'll talk about in a second. Speaking right. about crazy, we're going to give uh, we're going to give away some tickets. So call quick. You got nine minutes. Win two tickets to Cradle Con, a comic collectible and pop culture convention happening at the Cradle of Aviation Museum in Garden City. Tickets are good for Sunday, June 24th. Meet and greet comic book creators, find rare books and toys. Cosplayers can show off their work. This event is for all ages. It's created for fans, by fans. More information about Cradle Con can be found at the cradleofaviation.org. We're going to be there, which is going to yes. be awesome. Sure. Dan uh, Harmon's going to be there, yes, too. Yes, he is. Hopefully we'll see him. Wait, when is that again? It's uh, Sunday the 24th. Oh, it's next week. Cool. Yeah. No, it's next, next week. It's not this weekend, it's the following week. This weekend is Eternal Con. Right. This is at the Nassau Coliseum. And Father's Day, don't forget that. Uh, My dad's dead! He's dead! Oh. He's dead, Colton! Oh. Speaking of dead, (laughs) speaking of fathers... So they announced also at E3 that Battlefront 2 is getting some DLC, and they said they, quote-unquote, haven't given up on the game. They feel that there's more that they can what give game? to the Battlefront 2. Oh, oh who cares? And they were saying that there is more to do, <laughs> and, they, and they're going to bring the Clone Wars and all this stuff, to which I decided I wanted to go online real quick, because I am one of those toxic uh, Star Wars fans, and find a better You're version. toxic in general. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. You literally so, just sneezed out nuclear refuse. <laughs> That's true. I so swear, I, if terrifying. I get sick, Joe. Yeah, it's all right. It's just you a runny like, nose. You look like Clayface. It's horrifying. All right, anyway. So, <laughs> I was looking for a, a, a substitute to fit my Battlefront needs, or my, my needs to play you know a good Star Wars game, and I found a really old Star Wars game that people have been modding to keep up to date. What game is that? It's really cool. It's called, well, the game, the original, is called Jedi Academy, oh. right? Which is the best Star Wars, like... Uh, like lightsaber combat mm-hmm. is actually like really in depth and it's really cool. And then I found a mod code mod for it called Movie Battles, which was basically what Battlefront Two should have been. They took every single era of Star Wars and you could play any character you want. You want to be a stupid droid? You could be a stupid droid. You want to be a spinny droid? You could be a spinny droid. You want to be Boba Fett and jump into a Sarlacc pit? Go for it. You could do whatever you want. And it's awesome that you could do literally anything. And I just thought it's amazing that a group of people online who made no money off of this mod created a mod for a game that was at least 15 years old. And it's better than a game that EA put millions of dollars into. Yeah. How incredible is that? Because they, they cared about it. They put you know their time and effort into it. And it's a project that they really cared about. And it's it goes amazing. to show... That, you know, if you put your mind to it, you can achieve right. anything. And then also, another game real quick that was, uh, you got a trailer, it's a game called Cyberpunk 2077. My, fr- my buddy was talking about that. Right. It, says it looks really cool. made by CD Projekt Red, which are the guys who made The Witcher 3. Yes. Which is probably one of the best games ever made, if mm-hmm. you played it. It's an amazing game. If you haven't, go on uh, GOG, you can get it pretty cheap. And... It is, you know, I'm I'm hyped to see what they're going to do with this game because they, you know, they're the Witcher is about it. And, you know, they have that's all medieval. It's like not really like futuristic at all. This is a futuristic game that looks crazy in the future. Yeah. Speaking of the Witcher, and this is going to be a segue into a different topic. Oh God! There was a movie called The Witch that came out a few years ago. I don't know if you guys saw it. Nope. It was very eerie. Uh, a li- very slow. Uh, and uh, there was a movie that came out last week called Hereditary, which was made by the same company that made The Witch. Which I heard has got like 100% on Rotten it's Tomatoes It's at a, a 94% on Rotten Tomatoes, and the cinema score is a D plus because the movie was very boring. I saw it. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it at all. Uh, you know, I think film critics, they're very pretentious, and, you know, this was one of, if not the slowest horror movie I have ever seen. Literally, nothing happens except maybe one little interesting thing 45 minutes into the movie, and then nothing happens for another 45 minutes, and then the last 15 minutes is really, really eerie, very creepy, and done well. But, you know, that other hour and a half of movie was just awful to get by. Uh, the acting was fine. The, the, the you know cinematography it looked really nice. 
But it's just one of those movies. I want. I wanted so much more, and I got so much hype. People were saying, "This is the scariest movie in years." No, it's really not. Do not waste your time seeing really? this movie. It was. It was so boring. Unless you're like a pretentious hipster, uh, which I think, is half of our audience. I think you would. You would enjoy the movie. But if you, you know you, you want scares, you want cheap thrills, you're not going to get it with Hereditary. It, it was really. Really disappointing. That said, so what I did, I saw one of my favorite movies was in theaters for a 35th anniversary. Scarface was in theaters for oh, one really? day on Sunday uh, yesterday, and I went and saw Scarface, and it was awesome to see that on the big screen. Just uh, you know, beautiful visually. I think it's it's shot so brilliantly. Uh, Pacino's great. Michelle Pfeiffer is one of the most attractive human beings of all time. She's in her prime there. Twenty five year old Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh my goodness gracious! Wow. Uh, I love the score from Scarface. So if you haven't seen Scarface. You might have to wait for a 40th anniversary to see it in theaters, but check it out on like Blu-ray or DVD or wherever you watch movies. Check it out, man! Scarface! I wonder if that's on Netflix. I don't think you know it is currently. Weird? Netflix is, is so weird with the movies. They got a with, good with, selection, man. I just watched The Land Before Time, which is you know one of my all-time favorite animated films. Yeah, but then like you go look up some movies, and you can't find them, some classics, and you can't find them. And then some of them, they have them for only a short, short amount of time. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they get rid of stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's why I've been digging Amazon Prime lately. They have a much bigger selection than both Hulu and Netflix combined. And if they don't have something on their on-demand service, you can pay for it. So you could rent movies from Amazon Prime. They basically have every movie ever released ever. Some of them you yeah. just have to pay, you know, like a dollar ninety-five to actually rent the movie. So uh, definitely, you know, if you're a big movie guy like me, I would check out Amazon Prime for sure. Some good stuff. Uh, also, some movie reviews. Another movie that's getting not so good reviews is Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom, good. which comes out in a few weeks. Dude, uh, I've been playing uh, P- Dinosaur Go. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the uh, the Jurassic Park version of Pokemon Go. Oh yeah, is that like official or no? <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was. Uh, we were talking about that. Last it literally week. is a carbon copy. It's exactly. It, it's Pokemon Go it's, with dinosaurs. It hurts my head. What you- do you throw at the dinosaurs to catch them? Uh, you throw like you these scan little, them or yeah. something like that. It's uh, so stupid. It's created by like officially like Universal, like Jurassic Park. Yep, oh, yep. Wow. They they have millions of dollars going to marketing for it. Now, when I heard about this movie, because I watched some reviews of it, uh, I heard the first half is very very good, uh, and some say you know just phenomenal and what they did is they used a lot of animatronics so uh, it's kind of like the original Jurassic Park you know it's the most animatronic use in a Jurassic Park film probably since uh, Jurassic Park 2 or 3 definitely more so than Jurassic World which you know used a l- was heavy on the CGI I heard it was scary I heard just the second half the movie kind of collapses the the human characters are awful there's you know the forced relationship between Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard just doesn't work this is for from what I've been told, I didn't really care for their characters or relationship at all in the original, so I could see, you know, you know, the sequel not following up on that. And I heard Jeff Goldblum's, you know, barely in the movie, which is unfortunate. That sucks. Yeah. And then also they have the uh, Jurassic Park Evolution game that came out. That looks really good. Got a four point eight out of ten. Yikes. Yeah. They said it's um it looks great. The dinosaurs, the dinosaurs look amazing, but the game is tedious and lacks the action of the movies, which was IGN's review. That's like and uh, you know that they're that they're you know, that IGN where they're giving you a four point eight. Yeah. Those guys give Call of Duty like a nine out of ten. It's kinda like roller coaster tycoon meets uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah, they had game. one of these for the Xbox uh, original. Yes, the original that Xbox. game's worth a lot of money, by the way. Yes. My friend, my buddy Sean Froman, who works at the station, me and him used to play it all the time. We literally used to create entire it's like Operation parks. Operation Genesis. Yeah, we created entire parks with the sole intent of destroying them and letting the dinosaurs run rampant on people. Ah, it was amazing. You're a maniac. Next yep. week, we'll have more on E3, Nintendo, Xbox, uh, PlayStation wait. News, and I'm be seeing Incredibles 2, so we'll get a full review of that for next week as well. So we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Joe Ritter. I'm Colton Murray. I'm Justin Greenberg. See you guys. Bye!